Apple event tomorrow! Super excited! I need to watch the countdown! I'm not gonna sleep tonight! Better stay up late and talk about all of the theoretical leaks that are gonna drop within the next couple hours. Ahem! Excuse me, Drew! I have a request! With, uh, oh my god, Mini? Drew? What are you talking- why are you still here? I- I left you a long time ago. I just wanted to say, since the iPhone 14 is launching soon and there won't be a Mini model, that we were underappreciated for our time and we absolutely deserve Deserve to have more follow-up phones. Oh, I hear you, mini iPhone. I, I completely understand. It's just, there's all these Apple Watch leaks to talk about, and we want to cover those right now, so... I was there for you, Drew. I stood up for you when the 12 Pro Max didn't have 120 hertz and you wanted to try a different form factor. I stayed true, even if my battery life was not that great. I know, y you did. And, and you know what? The 13 Mini was great, but honestly, we don't even know if that's gonna be sold tomorrow anymore. Well, out of respect for the small phone community, I just want to let people know that I still exist in the certified refurbished page and aftermarket for far more affordable than any of these crazy new iPhone 14s are gonna cost, okay? Wait, wait, wait. You're in the certified refurbished page? Yeah, I got in a couple days ago, but you guys were so busy talking about the new ugly Apple Watch that you missed it. Wow, okay. I guess we need to start cross-shopping some things we've never considered cross-shopping. Thank you. It's been fun serving you all, but I'm uh, off to be discontinued with the iPod. Bye-bye! <laughs> oh, it's real. Let's begin. So yeah, there's a lot of chit chat on what iPhones are gonna get discontinued tomorrow. Some are saying the 12s are gone, some are saying both the 13s are gone. Some are thinking maybe just the minis will stick around because nothing in the iPhone 14 series will really be replacing any mini iPhone. And I'm here to tell you today, I don't know, and none of us really do. But what we do know is just a couple days ago, Apple for the first time ever added the iPhone 12 mini to the certified refurbished page, which I'm sorry if you're sick of hearing me talking about it, but this is just such a great way Way to get Apple products at a discount while still retaining your warranty and no they do not look used Apple will replace the battery the chassis the outside glass and everything basically anything that can wear down Apple replaces and the only reused parts are things you're never gonna notice and it's five hundred and twenty nine dollars which is the lowest price I've ever seen Apple sell this phone for I'm sure through Best Buy or Amazon you could find them for even cheaper but my point is this is only one hundred dollars more than the iPhone SE 3 that dropped earlier this year and that phone's biggest selling point was hey it has 5g now but i'm here to tell you that now that the 12 mini for 529 has entered the picture apple has now officially fixed the biggest problem with the mini iphones it wasn't necessarily that the battery life was too bad because it honestly is pretty manageable and if you go to the compare page you'll discover that the 12 mini and the iphone se3 which was advertised as having a better battery life both have identical battery life same audio playback same video playback you're getting the same battery on both and a lot of people thought the SE2 was a great buy and a decent deal for a lot of iPhone buyers, but that had worse battery life and people were still comfortable recommending that. But Apple has doubled down that the SE was intended to be the phone for people who wanted a smaller form factor, something that was more easy to hold, and the 12 mini honors that original iPhone SE that launched in 2016 a lot more. It's still got that squared off edge design and it's even smaller than the current SE3. The only big difference, of course, is that display, which some of you you may consider an upgrade, having a 5.4 inch OLED panel that gets really bright. You do have a notch and there's sadly no way for you to get your battery percentage back, but with so much more usable screen space, plus those awesome stereo speakers, a dual camera system, better water resistance, MagSafe support, which even the SE3 did not get. Some of you may be on the fence like, well, Drew, that's like a hundred bucks more. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's absolutely worth it. I'm sorry. I'm putting my foot down on that one. No one should be spending $429 on the iPhone SE3 when you can buy an iPhone 12 mini for only $100 more to get that much more of a phone that's more compact with a better display, with a better camera, with face ID instead of touch ID. Some of you really, really love the home button, I know. And you're like, well, Drew, the iPhone SE 3 is actually for people who want the home button. It's not just for the smaller phone. For one, Tim Cook has not said that, okay? He said that this is meant for people who care about the smaller form factor. And while some of you may really like the home button, it's important to just acknowledge it's on its way out. Like, I know 
know Apple is still technically selling it today, but we've seen the writing on the wall. Ross Young has already mentioned that the next generation iPhone SE is going to be more like the iPhone XR design, just a bit smaller. So the time with the home button is limited. Basically, the sooner you get used to not having it, the better. I don't think you should just hold on to it for as long as you can. And if you are a diehard home button fan, you probably already have an iPhone with a home button. You're not in the market for a new iPhone. You're just going to be holding on to that one until it completely conks out at you. So no need to watch this video. But if you're getting close to upgrading and thinking you were a little bit scared of the gesture controls and everything of a notched iPhone, don't fret. You get used to it very, very quickly. And I promise you the 12 mini is a far superior product in so many ways. Slight downside is it does have an A14 chip, whereas the SE3 has an A15. But hey, I'm pretty sure that the SE3 and the iPhone 12 mini are probably going to get software support for almost identical amounts of time. Maybe the SE3 gets like one more year, but even that's a stretch considering how different the UI and form factor is because it's not gesture based and it's the only iPhone in the lineup that's 16 by 9. So even if they come up with some new iOS 17, iOS 18 features, or I guess this would be years down the road, so probably we're talking about getting iOS 20 or not. I'm betting you that the iPhone SE 3 is probably not going to be getting the bulk of those features anyway, and the 12 mini probably will because it's just an overall more modern smartphone with a true depth camera system, an OLED display, and gesture controls, and a decent camera. So you get the night mode on there, you get the ultra wide lens, and again, I think MagSafe is truly underrated if you're going to be holding on to this iPhone for a long time. It's great for car accessories, it's great for wireless charging, and again, if what you care about is having a smaller iPhone, I absolutely think the 12 mini will be more enjoyable. That will fit in your hand a lot better. Plus, if you really just love that home button so much, then I would highly recommend you just get the SE2 because you're probably not the type of person that would care about having 5G or not. So SE2 you can find for much cheaper, basically the same phone with a very similar look. Save yourself some money or commit fully to this awesome deal that is the 12 mini. And I just wanted to highlight this now because Apple was clearly adding it, hoping that people wouldn't notice because we're going to be very distracted talking about new iPhones and the rest of the lineup for the rest of the week. So I had to make a video about it now and hopefully that gives us something to talk about in the meantime as we count down to the next far out event. What do you guys think of the 12 mini being available for this cheap? Can you think of people in your personal life that should probably consider buying this one? All that good stuff. Let me know your thoughts down below. This is your Apple Sleep here. I'll see you tomorrow morning.